Yes, at this time, what it is that we want to do is we want to uh, give everyone who we come in contact with a better picture of what it means to digitize the Caribbean, right? And we look at doing it uh, one business at a time. And after it is that we have uh, basically helped each business to become digitized, we also want to have it where we have a, a large network that we connect all these businesses together so there be greater connectivity among each business and therefore it is that we can do more right because we have united so at this time uh kevin sandy who is the ceo of sits will go through this presentation and so forgive me for not making mention i'm the insurance sales and marketing consultant here with sits so welcome again and um, kevin over to you You're on mute, Kevin. You're muted, Kevin. All right. So what we are trying to do here at SITS is that we are trying to get most of our entrepreneurs to actually get much more work done with less work, less effort, less time. And so we are trying to combine e-commerce system along with e-learning platform, along with working from home, workers, freelancers, employees, however you want to put it. But this is to be to actually reduce the cost of work or the co overhead cost that a lot of companies have to face. And of course, it improves the sales and improve, of course, their client base because now they can access clients around the world. So really and truly, we really want the organizations to move the level of maturity from just being brick and mortar or operating with just activities by actually just having people doing a lot of work. But when you measure the results, it actually doesn't come to the ratio of it. Does it come at the level that a maturity company is supposed to be working at? And the thing about it is that some of these companies are very, have a lot of years, but we need to improve in the way in which the organization function. Now, the digital workspace that sits looking to create and help a lot of our entrepreneurs with is to actually look at converging technology with their work, with the different apps that they're using. And of course, a network that connects all of these together. For example, when you show up at the workplace, you're using Wi-Fi. When you are at another location at home, you're using Wi-Fi as well. But you're using different apps. You also have tools that you're using. You want to converge all of this into one seamless operation so that you could actually run your business from anywhere and actually take um, inventory of what is happening in your business as well as accountability to what workers are really doing. Are they really putting on the amount of results or the work that they're supposed to do for what you're paying them for. Now, in the digital workspace, we need to be able to improve our productivity. So it means if you actually get the results from a lot of organizations, right? You actually be able, you will actually see the poor uh, in the, on the efficiency in the processes, even in meeting and office politics that you are, things like that, actually causing a lot of companies to be inefficient and to be unproductive. There are so many challenges. You also want to improve employee engagement, the way they interact with each other. Because what happened? These people, these employees are people. They actually need to work with each other. They need to actually interact with each other. As you get them to interact with each other, improve their work ethic, improve their enthusiasm, and you actually get much more work done. You also have improved, increased revenue. So you have revenue growth because you actually took care of the way in which you treat your employees the way you, they actually interact with each other. You get a competitive edge that way. Now, the thing about it, there are several trends we need to look at. People really want to use the same types of tools. Really and truly, your employees who are freelancers or the people we hire to do work from our hourly work or monthly work, they really want to use one device. They don't want to be using several devices, whether it's a mobile phone only or a laptop only. They don't want to be using one laptop at work and then one laptop home. They wish they could use their own laptop. Right or the device. Now the thing about it is that as an entrepreneur, you are you are actually juggling a lot of things because you are trying to get your product to market in time, because there are people waiting for your services, waiting for your products. When you actually have a platform like uh, e-commerce platform, and you're actually learning how to use it properly, what happens is that it reduces the overload 
that you have to deal with on a D2D basis. So you actually have your employees actually producing much more results and they become more productive and you get less work to do. Now, the thing about it is that the global arena allows us to think that, okay, because people are working from home or other places and they're doing a lot of activities that they're actually getting work done. doesn't mean that. Activities doesn't mean productivity. It doesn't mean results. So how do you measure the results on a global scale? You need to have a system that actually does that for you. So you actually need to just hire people by hour or sometimes by week because they only need to get one task done per week or per day, all right? This allows you to actually look at your maturity level. When you think of the level at which your company operates, even though it might be 10 years or 20 years old, is it operating as a low income or a low level company? Or is it operating as a high level company? And that could be determined by the level of digital product that you work with, the, the kind of digital workspace that you implement. If you are implementing something that's outdated, that's obsolete, like a brick and mortar system, and trying to do a hybrid, what happens sometimes, the, because you're accustomed to the face-to-face -face and the brick and mortar operation of your inventories and so forth, you actually get bogged down with the amount of work. But in increasing the maturity of your company, you reduce the work by in increasing the digital workspace that you implement. Now, this allows you now to see that, hey, are you really functioning as a mature company or infant company? What stage are you at? Are you operating one as if you're operating in an office or are your people uh, freelancers at home working from anywhere they can and still giving you a amount of, lot of hours, but less work done? You need to know. Now, if you don't use the right platform, you can actually have your business stalling and then you have competitors taking your market. So you want to get the right platform that allows you to actually pay attention to what is happening with your employees, what you're happening to your workers. Are they really producing value for money or not? Or are you getting the amount of sales you're supposed to get? The kind of marketing returns you're supposed to get, right? This allows you to come to these levels. There are several steps we need to take in order to actually bring um, our brick and mortar system into a global online system. You need to put mobility first. In other words, people must be able to work from wherever they are, regardless of what they're doing. Even if it's just taking inventory, even if it's just doing customer service, you need to be able to put the mobility system in place for them. Now also, you want them to be able to deploy these simple systems and the system that they implement they must be intuitive, very simple. For example, when they're dealing with customers or when they're dealing with products or when they're dealing with actually office management, it must be simple. So a lot of your work needs to be invested in simplifying the systems. Now, of course, you want to make sure that the systems are running the way the employers love to work or the clients love to purchase. This way, it becomes a no-brainer for the client when they go to your platform, your e-commerce platform. They know when to purchase. They know how to give a feedback because where the locations of everything are is very simple. So this breaks down on the amount of work that you have to do. Now you have to be able to automate the manual task. And in automating the manual task, you improve productivity. You also enhance customer service, I mean, experience, as well as you actually get your employees and the different persons who are working for you. Even though they're not full-time employees, they get to share information and knowledge and how they, they experience it with each other and improve each other. The automating is very important. Now what is happening is that a lot of employees are struggling with the fact that entrepreneurs want them to use different products when they come on the site. And of course, that could be understood in view of dealing with a security system. But really and truly, they want to be able to use their own devices. They want to be able to purchase their own device and use it whenever they want to do their work, when they want, at their own timing. So you need to implement systems to allow this. But in doing this, you want to be make sure that the systems are very, very simple, very slim, and the, the movement from your office decision to the client experience must be shortened. For example, you actually could be making decisions in your office today, but it takes a month or sometimes weeks before the client actually see the result of that decision. So you want to reduce those errors or those bottlenecks so you actually get more results to the client faster. You want to improve the clarity of your communication with the clients. And that way, 
the way to do that is to use an e-commerce system. And of course, because you're dealing with brick and mortar offices, you have to deal with the speed of the IT system that you're using, the speed of the internet, speed of the network they're using. But what if the employee or the person who's working have a high speed system at home already, wherever they are? This could be implemented and therefore you reduce the amount of time taken to upload stuff, to update things, right? And get work done. Now, an online platform that is e-commerce ready allows you to get uh, being advanced, yet an advanced stage when different um, companies change their systems or update their system. In other words, you don't have to think about what to do next to make changes to your company because it's done seamlessly. You don't, you hardly see it. When that is done, you actually could connect strategic decisions with actual tactical work that is being done by the employee and the actual processes that the customer uses whether it's a feedback system or whether it's a purchasing system, right? All of these become seamless because you're using an e-commerce system that's advanced. Now, when you're using an advanced system, you have to be careful because the thing about it is that if you choose the wrong system, you actually could kind of get a, a counterintuitive or counterproductive automation process where the process that you set up to be automated actually gives you a six or nine. So you actually want to, you really want to use the right platform so that the people who are working in it sees the changes in the market and therefore they can innovate. They can change the way they operate to suit the changes, the way the customer purchase might, be, might change, the climate might change. There might be a, a disaster, a pandemic, something could happen. If your system is not intuitive, then the client as well as the employee cannot change the automation. Now, SITS now is able to now connect you to the way where you can actually build an automated system on your e-commerce platform that improves your purchasing, improves your office engagement or your employee engagement, not in a physical office, but in a virtual office, as well as increase the automation of your processes, the different tasks that you have to do, signing of forms and different things that you have to do as an administrator. or you can also improve or reduce the overhead costs, the amount of employees you have to actually hire to do different things. And it actually allows you to pay attention to what your employees are doing or what your staff is doing. Are they putting out enough work for the pay for what you are actually paying them for? You know, so you could actually measure these things because there are a lot of analytics involved in it. We are here to help you at SIS. So if there is anything you would like to learn about building your e-commerce platform that's automated, that's productive, and that reduces your workload. So increase your profits and your client base. That is what we are here to help you to do. So I wanna thank you very much for uh, listening. Um, so this is here to help you. And if there's anything you would like to learn, any questions you would like to have answered, if you'd like me to go back to any, over anything, just raise your hand. And let me know, just ask a question, unmute yourself and you can ask, and we are here to help you. Thank you very much for listening. All right. Um, thank you very much uh, for sharing the information. So what it is that we hope um, with the two guests that are on, right, is we want to ensure that we are, you know, relevant and we are able to really meet the needs of the clients um, like yourself and others. So uh, questions would be very, very helpful, right, to us in that were you able to com comfortably understand um, the presentation, right? Uh, any of the slides, you know, you, you weren't quite sure what it is that Kevin was trying to make mention of and also, how is it that um, his services can better your business, right? Or a business that you have um, interactions with. But one of the things that jumped out is um, how seamless your business is in when a client clicks on your site, right? How seamless is it? that they understand everything, everything is working perfectly 
and also that you have a proper follow-up system. Uh, if either one of you can just unmute and give an idea, is there any challenges that you all face on getting clients um, to click on your site, move them through you know, the services and the products that you all offer, and then also on following up with them? Is, is there any challenges that you all face? Uh, so feel free to, to, to unmute and we, we really, really appreciate you know, um, any feedback. Hi, that's and, you... and is there any question you have? Of, of course, yes, anything. Neil, um, Guys. Unmuted. Um, I don't I really do much of the IT, but um, I went up on our site, direct smart site, and I just put in a question at one point in time. And I was, I think I was checking more or less to see the response time. So, um, is it that there always needs to be an individual present, I guess, to be there to respond? Should someone have? a query or a question, or is it there a way that we can have these things automated? Hmm. So both, both. You actually have what you call Autobots that actually answer certain what you call frequently asked questions. And, but even after that, and it, that's like how you deal with your telephone company, you have a, a bot that actually answers some of the frequently asked questions. But after a while, there's a specific question that you want to ask that outside of the scope of what it has there. So that is where you now could have somebody who, and the thing about it is that the person who have to be present in an office, they could be anywhere on the road because they're doing customer, they're responsible for customer service. It goes to them automatically with a, with a uh, e-commerce system. It goes to them, to their phone or whatever it is, and they answer it one time. They see the pop-up because there are, they are assigned to work those hours. And that's the thing about the system is that because you have delegated tasks and when people are supposed to be available, even if they are not present in a specific location, it goes to that person and the person see it and they can respond. But beside that, we go to what they call frequently asked questions and you have questions related to everything you think somebody could ask and you can actually have it on your site and help sections. So when somebody asks a question and the combination of the words that they ask is recognized by the bot, the answers come up, which you have already implemented and installed on the side, in the help section. That's a proper e-commerce system, right? So there are two parts. One, the automation system where frequently asked questions, the answers are there, but then somebody might want additional information that's beyond the scope of it. That always happens, regardless of how much answers you put. So what happens is that the customer service people are there to give feedback or answer questions because they are assigned to work in those times. And they could be anywhere in the world. They don't have to be in a specific location. Yeah, because what, um, what that helps is um, at any point in time, day or night, the person could get an answer. Whereas if it is um, someone has to be on the phone, you then have to employ persons around the clock you know, to give those answers. So that's why the, the um, what bot do you call it um, again? Yeah, the, the, auto, the Autobot. Yes. The Autobot. Yeah, yeah. the Autobot. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So... Um, that is something it is, I say, if your company is interested in, we could um, have a discussion on getting that in place for your company, right? So th these are the questions that, you know, we, we are thankful for um, you asking that question, right? But because these are the things that we wish to solve and help companies um, resolve, right? Um, yes, I can you. Yes, um, the other question, the follow-up question to that would be, how do you, um, if install is the correct word to use, an Autobot, or is it for, I know sometimes you can use particular sites, or if I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly, to build a website, is it something that is an add-on? Um, yeah. How do you get that function? Yes, yes you're right. The Autobot is an add-on, 
but it's not just the October. The October is just the first step. What needs to happen before um, the first step that the client is connected to? However, before you even deal with the October, you yourself, your company, have to think of all the questions somebody can ask and have them laid out and the answers to those questions. So when you, when you add the feature, you upload the, uh, the questions the person might ask and the answer to those questions in a help section under the Autobot. You have to go through that process yourself before. And then as people ask questions, it's additional questions, it's recorded. And when you see a question being repeated, you put that, you add that in, you keep adding. So it's always, it's always something that's, uh, that's why you see you're agile, you're always flowing, you're always looking to, you're always innovating. That's where the innovation thing come about because if you're not aware that things could change and the person who is working, say the customer service person, or the Autobot itself, you don't understand that this will change. Even though I did all of this, there will be changes I need to look at. Even if it's once a week or once a month, the customer service person, you don't have to have a three or four, you could actually have two, so in other words, you reduce your, over, your overhead, but they can actually show you what is happening, but the Autobot also records what is happening and tells you people are asking this other question more often. So you add it in. Once you see that, keep going, add it in. It is an addition to your website that you add onto your website and then upload all the questions and answers you think somebody will ask. And you keep thinking of questions and answers people might ask, right? As well as you could get what you call review systems where you're sending your site to different people and ask, these are the services I provide. What kind of questions would you have from this for this? And from those questions, you could actually put them with the answer on into the Autobot system. So when somebody asks it, questions come up. Now let me exact, it keeps trying until it gets the right one. So it's an Autobot system. You there are several you can purchase. Uh, but as I said, you can purchase, you can go up with the question, but the implementation part of it is where, where you need a company to actually match both things because you want to get the right Autobot for you because not only that you want the Autobot to answer questions, but you want the Autobot to record, the, capture the person's information, who is asking the question, name, email address, you know, that sort of thing. And then it doesn't mean that the Autobot is permanent. They also update their system and they could change. So if you, have a, if you have a technical person to look at the updates and how it affects your site, they could be a little challenger sometimes because it's an additional system to your site. All right. Um, now, just wanted to ask, uh, Anthony, do, do you all have a like autoresponder whereby with all your clients, no one has to type in each person's name in order to send information to, to them. Everything is done um, by the computer. Um, can I repeat that, please? Sorry. Yeah, it, as with your company, is it that when you'll have to send out mails to say a hundred um, clients, if you'll have a hundred clients, you don't have to type in each person's name for each um, letter that is to be sent out? Um, and I never really had to do so many clients at one time. So you do have it where you have to type in each person's name? Yeah, basically. Yeah. And um, Kevin, can you speak to that as to what is, where it's right. coming? Right. So one of the things when we say go mobile, when we talk about go mobile capability, is that SITS now provides access to an autoresponder system. So all the persons who have ever engaged with your site, you have captured their name, email address, and any other information you want, it's already there on the list. And when you're ready to send information to them, even if it's just a segment, you just have to prepare the email and attach the, the, the group list and the email goes to them, personally to them. Um, for example, if you would have received an email from me, you would have seen, hi, Tenille. If, it, if it's, or hi, whoever the name is, which, but really and truly, that name is on a list. All I did was send to a group of people. So there's a way the autoresponder sends to a group. And you could also set up the email sequence to send emails, say, for the whole week or for the whole month. You want it to go out two days from now, three days from now, five days from now, different emails. And you set that up once, and you have that going out to everybody. 
you are not sitting, you're not typing in anything after that. You could be in the beach somewhere and this is happening for you going out to them every day. Like clockwork. <laughs> As you prepare it once. No, no, I'm sure if it is that um, you find that to be a laborious task for you to be typing these names every time, every month or, or, or every week that you have to do it, that this would help um, reduce that, you know, that monotony in, in that type of work. So, um, see, that is what the SITS is all about, is in um, getting you to do more of what it is you want to do and less of the things it is, you know, you, you hate doing. So that is what SITS is all about. So, um, say we would entertain any other question if there is. Right, so it is Shanika saying she has that function, right? All right. Shanika is not able to, to unmute herself. You're not able to unmute yourself, Shanika? Oh, no, 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 I can. I was just oh, giving oh. Um, the other <laughs> oh, oh, um, okay. member a chance you. to speak, yes. Oh, All right. <laughs> yes, okay. but yes, I actually have that function for my, my page because I found it very useful. And when sometimes they can't answer, it automat automatically responds to your clients one time. And I saw it happen. It's really great to have it as a function. Which one do you yeah. use? The Instagram and Facebook. No, which no, which autoresponder system you use? Um, autoresponse that comes with the 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 Facebook itself with, with, and right, Instagram right, okay. itself. Yeah. All right. Okay, but that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, don't know if there's any other questions because we don't want to take up any more of the time. We we have gone through the presentation. We thank very much for the comments and the mm -hmm. uh, questions uh, but if there's, and if there's any other question or comment mm -hmm. uh, we, we will appreciate it yeah. oh well the only thing with me is um i just have to find a way um i'm about to speak with you all and mentioning well my whole um the price list for my whole business is not quite organized appropriately because mm -hmm. i get um clients asking for certain things that I wouldn't know on the spur of the moment I will have to work out. So that is the only thing fault on my page is that that is not cleared for my clients. I, I see members asking me, well, what is your 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 list, your course for your logos and whatnot? So I have to kind of tweak on that still. That is the only downfall for me there. Yeah. Okay, we can help you now. Yeah. And we are here next Wednesday, yes, in case. And then next Wednesday again to give you another presentation. Okay. Same time. Great. Yes. <laughs> 12 so, noon and 5 to 3. Right. Yeah. So please, please um, I say invite others. Invite your friends, right? Or anyone who is in the business mm -hmm. and you think it is that this could be of help. Okay, no problem. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate that you 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 um invite them. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Wonderful. Because I have some um Workers who actually want to start their own business, so I will bring them on board then, for sure. <laughs> right. thank, thank you very much. Indeed. We're also Definitely. looking to start a master class, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we would be sending information on that. Mm -hmm. So if it is they're saying they want to start uh, their e commerce, we're looking to start a master class how to um, start your e commerce from scratch. Yeah. Yeah, you know, start the e-commerce business from scratch. So, based on what you said there, that you think they would be interested in something like that? Yeah, yeah. In the, in okay. due time, because as I said, they don't want to start up their business. Right. So, um, it will be something that, you know, it'd be good for them to right. assist them into going further because, you know, how we're starting up and everyone is not sure of what they're about as yet. So, the guidance is willing from them. Right. Right. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, we want to say thank you very much for the both of you uh, being on this call, mm -hmm. and we do look forward to you know doing business with, with you both, right? Um, improving the digitization that is in your company, mm -hmm. so it is that we can see more and more businesses really out there in on the world wide web. Uh, making great strides and you know putting Trinidad and Tobago, putting the Caribbean really on the map as representing you know high quality uh, e-commerce businesses. So we thank you very very much for uh, being on this call with us. 
Kevin, any last Yeah, plans? no problem. Thank, thank you very much and see you. Thank you very much, Tineel, for coming also. And for the presentation. Thanks for the, if you, for the info. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Have a good evening. Bye. Thanks also. Bye, everyone. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Bye.